So, um, much of what I had planned to say has been said already, so, uh, which is good. I mean, praise God. I, I would rather, uh, I'd rather have everybody else preach the sermon than me have to, but that's okay. Um, I have, uh, you want me to be a little bit, full? there we go, okay. Um, baptism is one of two sacraments in the Presbyterian Church. The other is communion. Uh, some of you might say, well, what about marriage and what about confirmation and uh, those kinds of things? Uh, th those are all, there, there's five other uh, sacraments in the Roman Catholic Church, but they didn't come over to most Protestant churches as official sacraments, just things that are important. One that's probably the least understood in, in the Catholic Church is the, uh, the sacrament of last rites. Now you've heard of that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, the sacrament of last rites is really the sacrament of the anointing of oil for healing. Mm -hmm. And that's why the priest will come to you when you're on your deathbed and bring last rites. Uh, we had that happen in Minnesota where a, uh, a pastor, a Catholic priest, was uh, at the church down the street from where, where I was pastoring. And uh, he started going in and performing last rites on people, and they got up from the hospital and went home oh, wow. um, because actual healing was taking place. Uh, and that went on for three to five years. He, he wrote a book uh, about it and a uh, great experience. And I even had the opportunity to go be with him at one of his monthly uh, healing services where he would have people just come, come up front and, and pray for him and that sort of thing. Um, so, so baptism are, and communion are our um, two sacraments. We call communion the Lord's Supper, the Eucharist, uh, uh, the Last Supper. I mean, it's, it's got a whole bunch of different names. Um, but uh, today, we're doing both. Okay, We did one, we're going to do the other. Uh, baptism and communion both are all about faith. Um, it, it's faith that we believe that when Jesus said be baptized, when Jesus said to the disciples, here's my body broken for you, here's my blood shed for you, that, that we look back on those times now and we remember what he did for us. And we are thankful for what he has done for us in the forgiving of our sins. And so... Um, uh, you know, it's, it's important to remember that, you know, it's a proclamation of Jesus Christ when we do either one of these. It's a demonstration of our belief that, as Aaron so well put, that it's, it's purely by grace and, and not by something that we have done. Otherwise, we couldn't baptize the infants, um, and yet we feel comfortable doing that because it's not about us and what we've done. It's about God's grace to us. Um, it's, it's about placing our trust again, having one more time where we come to God and we say, I'm in your hands. I'm not in my hands. I'm in your hands. I do what I can, but I put you, me, I put my family, I put uh, my loved ones, I put my friends in your hands, not as I will, but as you will because you are so much better at it than, uh, than I am. So um, as, as we come to this um, kind of time where we have an opportunity to do both communion and baptism, uh, we, we remember that um, baptism is a, a memory back to not just circumcision, but uh, in some ways back to uh, going through the water uh, the, the, in the, the river, wow, why can't I remember that one? The river out of Egypt into the promised land. Um, and, uh, and, and it's a time where we, we think about being completely cleansed of our sins, which is what we gained from the death and resurrection of our Lord. Mm -hmm. and, and although we in the Presbyterian Church don't mind sprinkling, 
I used to always call it you either dip, dab, or dry clean. doesn't really matter. The, the baptism is not so much about the water as it is about the meaning of the, the event. Uh, clearly, if you take somebody and put them down under the water and pull them back up, you probably have the best visual picture of what it means to die with Christ and to be raised up in, in new life. And so... Uh, that was uh, and is by many denominations the preferred method of, of baptism. Today, I want us, if you will, to remember along with AJ's baptism, uh, remember our own baptism, whether it was a baptism as an infant, as mine was. I have no memory of it at all, but I know that my mother did did that for me, and I believe that that was all I needed. I've done a number of baptisms for people where we have uh, dipped them into a horse trough or a pond or an ocean or something like that because they wanted to be rebaptized now that they were confirming their faith in Jesus Christ. That's not Presbyterian. I did it anyway. Uh, and didn't get my hands slapped fully, got talked to about it. Uh, but, uh, but baptism is, here's me, here's my faith. I want to demonstrate to the world that I believe in Jesus Christ. So I'm going to ask you this question. Do you confess your faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior this morning? And do you promise independence upon the grace of God to live your future life inside the teachings of Jesus? Yes. Yes. If so, say yes. 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 All right. And, and the, the blessing that Aaron gave to, um, to the people of Israel, uh, not, not this Aaron, but the, 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 the first Aaron that was a Levite and the priest, uh, he was told by God, say these words upon the people or over the people and I will be with them, okay? And so the words are, and we've said it a lot in, in, this, uh, in this setting, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you. And I think shine on you means take a liking to you, be pleased with you, um, and, and be gracious to you. And may the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as a step of your recommitment, if you will, your step <coughs> out and say, I'd love to relive my baptism in my mind of all that God has done for me. And we get to do that, like I say, in, in my mind, we get to do that every time we have communion because we, uh, we gather around the table where Jesus said to his disciples, um, you know, this is my body broken for you. This is my blood shed for you. And then he went to the cross after that and died on the cross uh, for the sins of the world. And so we are thankful for what he has done for us, thankful for him instituting a time for us to remember that and a time for us to actually renew our commitment to follow Jesus wherever he leads us. So. Father, bless these elements. Use them for our benefit to remember as deeply as possible, as deeply as we can, what you have done for us. And may we feel a sense of being set free from the burdens of our life because of your gift to us of forgiveness and salvation. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Amen. I'm going to take the bread and remember, hold it. We'll all eat together. Remembering that we're one body in Christ.
told that Jesus took a special cup off of the Passover table that they called the cup of redemption. And he uh, picked that up and he said, this cup is a new covenant in my blood. Sing, peace I leave with you. 